basic operation of matrices involve uh, three parts. Uh, we have addition and subtraction, multiplication, and inverse matrix. Let's have a look on addition and subtraction on matrices. Okay, we have two rules uh, for addition and subtraction on matrices. Uh, first, they must have the same order. Row, times, column are the same. Uh, and the second rule, uh, we must add or subtract with corresponding element. Okay, let's look at example 1. Okay, I have matrix C and matrix D. Okay, first and foremost, we must check are they uh, have same order? So, uh, matrix C, we have order of uh, 2 rows times 3 columns so 2 times 3 uh, D we have 2 rows and 3 columns so also 2 times 3 so C and D can be added or subtract because they have same order next we uh, identify the elements in matrix C and matrix D so like I put up in the bracket there I put the elements okay you can see and then uh, we can easily add it the corresponding element so 10 must be added with 14 negative 8 added with negative 2 4 added with 1 negative uh, sorry 6 added with negative 3 okay negative 11 added with 5 and 7 added with 9 okay and then we can solve uh, as usual so we have got 24 negative 10 5 then 3, negative 6 and 16. So that is our answer. Okay, the same thing goes for subtraction. So let's say we minus C minus D. So we just change the positive, uh, the plus sign to minus sign. Okay, we subtract the corresponding element and we calculate as usual. Okay, so the answer is negative 4, negative 6, 3. Okay, we have 3. Sorry, 9, negative 16 and negative 2. That's our answer. Okay, multiplication involves two parts. The first part is uh, we multiply matrix with a number. And the second part, we multiply matrix with matrix. So, let's have a look at our example. So first part, we uh, multiply matrix with a number. So let's say K is a number and A is a matrix. So example 1, okay, I have a matrix of uh, negative 5, 4, 2 and 1 multiplied with a number 3. So the number 3 here uh, must be multiplied to each element in the matrix. So 3 must multiply with negative 5. 3 multiplied with 4, 3 multiplied with 2, and 3 multiplied with 1. Then we multiply as usual to get the answer. Okay, so we have uh, negative 15, 12, 6, and 3. Okay, let's see example 2. Uh, we have a fraction multiplied with a matrix. The same things going on here. Just multiply the fraction to each element in the matrix. So, negative 1 over 2 times negative 5, negative 1 over 2 times 4, negative 1 over 2 times 2, and negative 1 over 2 times 1. So, we calculate as usual to get the answer. So we get negative, negative, positive, 5 over 2. Okay, negative, positive is uh, negative uh, 2. And then we get negative 1 and negative 1 over 2. Okay, that's our answer. So example 3 is a combination of multiplication and subtraction. Okay, operation. So what we can do here is, uh, the, uh, this question asks you to calculate 3 uh, multiplied with P minus Q. So what we can do, matrix P can subtract with my uh, matrix Q first and then we multiply with 3. Okay, so uh, subtraction, uh, we subtract element, uh, the corresponding element. Okay, good. And then Okay, and then we find out the matrix. We have 5, 12, 
Negative 4, 3, 6 and 8. Also, so, each element in this matrix must multiply with 3. Okay, so, what do we have here? We have 3 times 5, 3 times 12, 3 times negative 4, 3 times 3, 3 times 6 and 3 times 8. So, uh, calculate as usual, we get 15, 36, negative 12, 9, 18 and 24. Okay, part 2, matrix times matrix. So, first and foremost, step 1. Uh, for this part, we must check the product order for the multiplication of matrices. So, what is it? Okay, let's have a look. Okay, example 1. Okay, let's say I have matrix A. Okay, my matrix A is 2, uh, 0, 1, 0 and multiply with matrix B. My matrix B is 4, 3. Next, I put down the order for A and B. So, A, I have 2 rows times 2 column. 2 times 2. Okay, B, I have 2 rows times 1 column. Next, we check the column for matrix A and the row for matrix B. Are they the same number? Yes, uh, column uh, 2 is equals to 2. Okay, column A equals to row B. So, uh, from here, we can say that these matrices can multiply. Okay, we can multiply A times B. This is the rule. Okay. Okay, from here, we can also know uh, the product of matrix A times B will produce a matrix with an order of, okay, 2 times 1. Okay, you can see there, I have 2 and 1. So, their product has order of 2 times 1. Okay, let's see example 2. Okay, I have again matrix A. Uh, is 2, 0, 1, 0 multiplied with matrix B okay, for 3 but now the order has changed for B okay, B I have 1 row times 2 column so uh, I circle the column for A and row for B are they the same uh, number? no so automatically we know that matrix A times B here cannot happen Let's see how we multiply uh, certain types, uh, multiplication of matrices and matrices. So, example 1. Okay, uh, before that, remember, we must check the order okay, before we multiply them. Okay, here I have matrix A, 2, 1 and matrix B, okay, 3, 7. Okay, check the order. In matrix A, I have 1 row times uh, 2 column. So 1 times 2 and matrix B I have 1 row uh, sorry 2 rows and 1 column so 2 times 1 yes uh, column A is equal to row B so I can multiply them so how do I multiply I multiply row A with column B okay row 1 and column 1 in B row 1 in A and column 1 in B so how should I multiply so 2 times 3, okay, plus 1 times 7, okay. There are at element 1, 1, row 1, column 1. So, my answer is, okay, 13. So, is it right I got 1 times 1 order? Yes, okay, let's see there. I have uh, 1 times 1 order. That is my uh, product order. Okay, let's see uh, the second example. So, I have uh, two matrices. Uh, the first matrices have the order of 2 rows one, times 1 column. And matrix B, I have uh, 1 row times uh, 2 column. Okay, 1 times 2. Okay, we check. We have, yes, column A is equal to row B. So, row B is, is supposed to be row B there, okay? Sorry. Okay, so they can multiply, okay? So, we can proceed to multiply. Okay, put down row 1, row 2 and column 1 
for matrix A and matrix B, row 1, column 1 and column 2. Okay, first, we must, uh, you must remember to multiply matrix, we must multiply row with column. Starting with row 1 times column 1. Okay, so 2 times 4. Okay, we get row 1, column 1. Okay, 1, 1, element 1, 1. Okay, next thing, uh, we must multiply row 1 in matrix A with column 2 in matrix B. So, we get 2 times 0. So, we have element 1, 2 here. Okay, the next thing, after we have finished at row 1, we can proceed to multiply row 2 in matrix A. Okay, so 1 times 4 is our element for 2, 1. And 1 times 0 for our element at uh, row 2, column 2. Element 2, 2. Okay. Okay, next, we, un uh, we multiply as usual. So, we get 8, 0, 4, and 0. So, we get 2 times 2 order. Yes, that's right. Okay, let's uh, see example 3. Okay, this is another type of multiplication between matrices. Okay, matrix A, I have 1, 4, 0, 3. It is a 2 times 2 order. Matrix B, I have 3, 1, 1, 1. Also, 2 times 2 order. Of course, okay, automatically we know uh, they are the same. Uh, column A is uh, equal to row B. So, they can multiply. So, write down row and column. So that it is easier for you to see how to multiply, okay? Okay, row 1 in matrix A must multiply with column 1 in matrix B, okay? So, how to multiply them? Okay, so we multiply... Uh, okay, uh, why we must multiply row 1, column 1? Because we want to get the element... The answer for element 1, 1. So, 1 times 3 plus 4 times 1. Okay. They are in element 1, 1. Okay, next. Remember, finish row 1 matrix A first. Okay. So, row 1 times column 2. Okay. So, it is at el the element of 1, 2. Row 1, column 2. So, 1 times 1. Plus 4 times 1. Okay, next. Okay, do we have another column here? Uh, finish. So, row 1, finish. Okay, next. We need to multiply row 2 with column 1. Okay, so that we get the answer for element 2, 1. Okay, so we have 0 times 3 plus... 3 times 1. Okay. And next, we have uh, we need to multiply row 2 in matrix A with column 2 matrix B. Okay. So, it is at ele element of 2, 2. Okay. So, 0 times 1 plus 3 times 1. Okay. Multiply as usual to get the answer. And at I multiply and add as usual to get the answer, okay? So, we get 7, 5, 3, 3. That is our answer. So, make sure you do the exercise given and submit in Teams. Okay, happy holidays to you all. See you.